So, hello everybody. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. I am out here digging and moving some things around. And I have some extra Queensland arrowroot growing starts here. If you guys happen to be interested in growing this amazing crop, check out the uh, info below, guys. So yeah, this is actually a true camera. There's various plants called arrowroot, you know, your West Indian arrowroot, your Guinea arrowroot, your Queensland arrowroot. There's a couple, and they're actually all different species. This one just happens to be an actual canna, which, in case you don't know, all cannas are edible. But the Queensland arrowroot, the true canna edulis, does not grow from seed, just so you know. It actually produces very little seed. And generally, it's very hard to sprout, even if you scarify it. But it does not grow from seed. It only grows from rhizome divisions. But it gets a very large rhizome at the end of the season. It can easily get the size of a fist, two, three, four pounds, even larger. Sometimes, if they're very happy, which they like moist soil with lots of organic material, their roots can get as large as footballs, the rhizome really good tasting and like i said these are the true canna julis then there's the canna indica which again it's completely edible the seeds the uh, green seeds are like spicy peas on those you can eat the flowers the young shoots you can even eat the rhizome just like on the queensland air route here but they're just not as large they're much much smaller some varieties depending can get slightly thickened rhizomes but Nowhere near the size that the true Edulis gets. Edulis, however you want to say it. And uh, yeah, just a super easy to grow crop. It can grow in mucky soils if you've got a really wet spot. Or it can grow in just standard garden soil. No problem whatsoever. They're very easy to grow. Not picky at all. Basically nothing bothers them. Not really any diseases, not really any pests. And you just let them grow. They're very ornamental. And this is a green variety, though there are some reddish ones. This one's green fire, actually. It's a Vietnamese variety. Super productive. Super, super productive. And you can even cut the stalks down, feed them to your goats, your pigs, your cows. That's what you have. And again, the whole thing is edible. And the young shoots, particularly during the season, because they send up so many really tasty is in the when it's in the spike stage just cut it off stir fry it up really delicious and later in the year when they're forming those big thickened rhizomes they are really good tasting they're like a slightly sweet potato not like a sweet potato but a slightly sweet potato can't <laughs> do you get that <laughs> they're really delicious either way you boil them up and mash them with butter, salt, salt, garlic, pepper, you know, all that stuff. Slice them into chips and fry them or cube it up and make a potato salad out of it. Just really delicious. They don't have any fibers, or a lot of the indicas tend to have fibers in them. These, when you get the big swollen rhizome before it sprouts, no fiber on it. Great flavor. Super productive. So, you know, it's one of those crops, guys, it's like hits every criteria super easy to grow super productive very delicious i mean you can't beat these crops i grow tons of these and i'm actually harvesting them right now and they're getting fed to the pigs and this will last that's what my pigs and my cows and my goats eat throughout the winter they get the uh west indian arrowroot uh dencia sometimes whatever the name is and they get the queensland arrowroot and all that is what sustains my critters through the winter and all the weeds they can have. But great, great crop, guys. You can grow it in pots anywhere or tubs. Stick it in a tub and you will literally harvest pounds and pounds of delicious, nutritious tubers, rhizomes, corms, whatever you want to call it, out of there. But definitely something you want to grow. And like I said, I'm moving things around, digging stuff up. And these would normally get planted out for next year. But I've got 
quite a few extras and you guys need to grow food i want to spread things around that are productive and easy and this is really a crop i i really stand by and think people especially in the south anywhere in the south in the u.s can grow to the ground and it's just so easy it's calories in your belly guys nutrition in your bellies for your brain for everything to keep going for the bs that is getting thrown at us you got to grow food, you got to grow nutritious things, got to grow easy things. Cannas, edible cannas, Queensland arrowroot. Boom, way to go, guys. You set these in the ground and you basically forget them. Not very many crops you can do that with. So, check out below. Grow food, guys. Grow it while you can. See you later. Love you guys. I appreciate the emails. I truly do appreciate you guys getting hold of me. And uh, I am by no means anybody special, but I do my best to make sure and to get it out there that uh, there are crops and things that you can do to feed your family, you know? This is what I do. It's how I feed my family. So feed yours and make sure you can keep doing that and do it the most productive, easiest way possible, guys. And hopefully <clears throat> I'm... Maybe doing a little part in that, showing you guys all these crops that I've found and grown over the years. And hopefully they will do some good for you. See you later. Queensland arrowroot. Really, really special crop. See you guys. Love you.